we have amazing things planned for you. This is a Mitsubishi Montero V76, a third gen model. Some of you may not know that uh, you can actually diagnose your entire vehicle system using this piece of tech. So there have been many RV device models uh, coming from 2000 to 2007 in this uh, third gen model. So it may give you different options, but when it comes to diagnosing, all the RV meters have the same functionalities. So the uh, mine comes with uh, a colored display as you can see so here are some of uh, the basic features in here actually uh, there are uh, five buttons this uh, one for the display you can uh, check your uh, temperature altimeter and wheel speed so when you enter it for your uh, four wheel mode then you can uh, check uh, your wheels working so press this again and then you can see uh, this display showing the uh, date and time and uh, temperature so again you can uh, see a display of uh, air conditioner and then again you can see uh, this uh, altimeter and the compass right so that's the main features so so when it comes to diagnose or uh, system info all the RV meters have the same functionalities so let's talk about uh, how to enter uh, the diagnostic mode so in order to uh, access the service mode you basically uh, just press the uh, ADJ button on the console uh, with ignition key in off right so in this position so while pressing uh, the adjust button on this RV meter right then you have to turn your key uh, into ACC position just uh, don't start your vehicle just uh, Right, so in here actually you can check whether all these functions are working properly. You can uh, go to next using this button and you can uh, click this button to uh, go back to the previous menu. And first in the auto mode, uh, once you click that button, you have to uh, uh, switch on your vehicle. Do not start the vehicle, just uh, turn the ignition key into the uh, on position, like this. Okay, now it says checking the system connection. Please wait. Yeah. So then you can actually uh, just uh, see this information. The versions of this one and the manufacturer date and the voltage, VSS, illumination, key position. Right, so now it says uh, automatic diagnose finish. So, uh, when you press this auto uh, service mode, so once the setup completes, uh, it will uh, take you back to the normal screen of the RMV meter. So, to use this again you have to uh, follow the instruction like uh, so once the automatic service mode uh, finishes it will it will uh, revert back to the normal RV meter menu so again enter to the service mode you have to uh, follow the uh, previous uh, instructions just to press the adjust button on the console and with uh, ignition key in off key position uh, so then again you have to uh, press and hold this button then you have to uh, turn ignition key to uh, ACC position right so then it will uh, again it will uh, boot into this 
window in here. So let's talk about this diag. You can actually uh, uh, get the information, uh, your vehicle information, same like the uh, auto function, but uh, in this one you can just uh, manually uh, uh, go through this one, right? You have to press the key to the on position and it will do the same as the auto one. Right, so I'm just going to exit this. Right. So when it comes to history, you can actually uh, see the error codes uh, in your vehicle's uh, electronic systems. In my case, uh, there are no any errors. So if you have any error, you can just clear uh, using this button, right? And then let's jump into a uh, next interface. In here, you can uh, go to this monitor. In here, you can just uh, uh, check your display uh, brightness level and color levels like that and then you can uh, check your sensors in the compass like this even though you can uh, uh, calibrate the compass using this uh, button going back and here's the altimeter right and then once you're done with this, you can just press end. All right, guys, that's it for the today's video. So if you have any questions, you can uh, write down on below in the comment section. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.